Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra again and welcome to the last part of my unit reviews for the new Wood Elf army. So this time we have a look at the rare units. So we will uh, start off with uh, the obvious uh, one, the Tree Man. Well, um, this here is obviously uh, one end from a uh, lot of the rings, but uh, nevertheless a Tree Man. <laughs> I don't... Uh, had the money right now to buy one of the uh, fancy new tree men that is uh, that was released recently from GW but anyways <clears throat> so uh, the tree men what has changed uh, from the last edition well um, from the last edition the uh, weapon skill has uh, increased by one point to six now the ballistic skill from zero to six has increased um, strength is uh, gone lower from uh, 6 to 5. Toughness is, th is the same with 6. Wounds uh, has gone down to 5 from 6. Initiative is the same with 2. Attacks same with 5. And uh, the leadership volume has been increased by 1 point to 9. And uh, the point costs have been dropped by 30 points from uh, 285 to 255 points. So, um, <clears throat> other than that, what has uh, changed also? Well, the size of uh, the base has been increased. So, uh, this here is the first uh, treatment size from the, uh, well, second edition. Then the um, uh, treatment from the previous edition was uh, even a bigger base size than that, the uh, normal big one. And nowadays uh, the tree man is on a chariot base, so the real big base. So I'll show you the difference. Uh, here on my Mornfang cavalry, this is the chariot base. <coughs> you see the difference in size and, uh, well, the tree man is facing this direction, so this is now here the uh, place where the enemies can attack the tree man. And well, this is a big, big downside to the uh, new tree man, I would say. Uh, only the base size alone, 50% uh, more models can attack him. That is quite an impact for the treatment but uh, we digress um, what else has the treatment to offer he has a, a scaly skin with a 3 plus armor save uh, and a 6 plus war save what save for forest spirit terror stubborn uh, tree whack that uh, grants him da -da 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 -da. A model with this special rule can choose to make a single tree whack in place of making his normal close combat attacks if a mo model is making a tree rack, it must be declared before rolling to hit. To resolve a tree rack, nominate an, an, an enemy model in base contact. That model must pass an initiative test or suffer d6 wounds with no armor save allowed. So in the old edition, I believe this was uh, uh, all attacks uh, are exchanged for... Uh, uh, no, no, no. Strength 10 hit or something like that. So let's see. Uh, Treeman. No, actually, he doesn't have something like that in the old edition. Oh, oh did I miss something? Mm hmm. Well, anyways, this edition is gone anyways, so it doesn't matter. So, um, well, this uh, means he is quite capable of taking off uh, monsters. He can now also take Strangle Roots. This is uh, a shooting attack with 12-inch uh, range and strength 5. Multiple shots, multiple shots D6 plus 1. And with his ballistic skill of 6, it's uh, quite... Um, uh, quite a chance to hit with them. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Well, um, overall, I would say the tree man is a nice unit, but anyways, um, he's a large target, and uh, therefore, your wood elf army doesn't have any 
kind of uh, um, uh, kind of uh, how it's called uh, cannons, uh, bolt throwers, and war machines. That's that was the word. Uh, Wooders don't have any war machines uh, to counter enemy war machines, and uh, so they are uh, solidly uh, counting on your way watchers, your uh, um, on your uh, how are they called? Uh, call units, guard, triads. Oh, come on, your glade riders. That was the name. Um, what else are uh, supposed to uh, rely on the glade riders to outflank as fast as they can to uh, deal with enemy war machines uh, to uh, well save your tree men. But uh, if you can't do that, your tree man is gone in two turns. I promise you that. He's a large target. He's a very large target, and. Uh, well, you can't hide him anywhere, and uh, one or two cannonballs from a, a dwarf cannon, from a ogre uh, iron blaster, or an empire great cannon, and he's gone. Both throwers from uh, the dark elf and the high elves will pierce him to death, and uh, all these war machines uh, have uh, no armor saves allowed, so uh, his scaly skin of 3 plus doesn't do anything, and a 6 plus ward save is like paper, so pff, it's like nothing. Um, if you want to uh, field a tree man, then field 3 or 4 and a tree man ancient at the same time, uh, then you have a chance to do something with uh, the tree man, but uh, just one, and he's gone in two turns. This is just a waste of points. So, <clears throat> other than that, really nice miniature. Every Wood Elf army should have one. <laughs> so, next on the list um, are the Way Watchers. Uh, oh no, let's uh, hide them back for the last. Let's talk about the Great Eagles first. Great Eagles uh, are, well, in all High Elf and Wood Elf armies, a nice addition. <clears throat> for 50 points a model, uh, weapon skill 5, strength, toughness 4, 3 wounds, initiative 4, 2 attacks, leadership 8, flying monstrous beast, unit size 1 plus. So uh, this is a really nice, uh, easy unit you can uh, always include into your army if you have uh, some points spare uh, to deal with enemy war machines, like I said before, uh, to support your tree men maybe. Uh, that's a good unit. If you uh, don't want to waste your points on the uh, how are they called uh, da, 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 da. the Warhawk Riders, um, then you can uh, go for them. Warhawk Riders, you need a unit of three plus. Uh, the Great Eagle, you can throw in one plus. So it's much uh, more flexible than the uh, Warhawk Riders. Well, the Warhawk Riders can shoot a little bit, but uh, who, who needs that? <laughs> In a Wood Elf army, almost everything can shoot, and so uh, this three shots won't do anything. So, uh, Great Eagles, yes, if you have the points uh, spare, you can uh, take them, but uh, they are not a must. They are simply nice. So, now let's come to the bread and butter of the Wood Elves. This is one very old model uh, from the second edition uh, from the Way Watchers. I have uh, all five of them uh, from the old ones, and I have ordered the uh, last edition metal ones. <coughs> um, and rumors I will uh, come to later. Um, well, Way Watchers. Where are we? Okay. Um, with weapon skill 4, ballistic skill of 5, and Two hand weapons, they are already a threat. But it gets better. They have Azrael longbows, like all the wood elves, so armor piercing shots with strength 3. And they have hawk eyed archers. This is a wonderful, wonderful new rule for the Way Watchers, and man, you really, really want at least one 10-man unit of Waywatchers in your army. You you won't leave home without them. <clears throat> okay, let's 
read it. Before a model with this special rule makes a shooting attack, decide whether it will make a fast shot or an aimed shot. If the former is chosen, the model's missile weapon has the multiple shot 2 special rule for the duration of the attack. Well, that's nice. So uh, a 10 man unit has 20 shots. With ballistic skill of 5, you uh, hit on 2 pluses. With uh, minus 1 for that, 3 plus. That's quite an impact. But it gets better. <clears throat> if the latter is chosen, then armor saves cannot be taken against wounds caused by the attack. I repeat, if the latter is chosen, then armor saves cannot be taken against wounds caused by this attack. Let that melt on your tongue, please. <clears throat> this means Models with an armor save of 1 plus, like for example Empire Knights of the Inner Circle or Chaos Knights or anything other with a big, big armor save will melt like butter in the sun by this Way Watchers. And for 20 points a model, you want a lot of them. So that wraps up uh, the unit uh, composition or uh, also uh, yeah they are skirmishers so they are quite mobile and uh, or almost all of them can shoot uh, and they are scouts forest walker always strikes first so the whole wood elf deal <laughs> nice one <clears throat> um last i want to talk about uh, hero models uh, I won't go into uh, the lords and special characters, but I want to point out something very interesting in the Wood Elf army. Normally you have uh, your lords, your uh, spellcasters, special characters, and that's it. But for the Wood Elves, you have for heroes your Glade Captain. This is uh, your standard uh, Wood Elf hero for 75 points. You can uh, upgrade him with all the nice stuff, but you can also take now a Shadow Dancer, a Way Stalker, or a Branch Wrath. And those three character models have the special rules of the um, of the uh, units they are uh, they are coming with. So, for example, this year. Of painted miniature uh, would be a way stalker nowadays. This means this miniature has now the special ability Hawk Eyed Archer from the Way Watchers. And you can include him in this unit and uh, they will run with them. They have Scout, Sniper, Forest Stalker, all the rules that this unit has. Also, the Shadow Dancer would be uh, for the War Dancers the hero. Two hand weapons. Uh, He's a, a magician, level 1 wizard, uh, talismatic, uh, talismanic tattoos, uh, shadow dances of Lorek, and all the nice stuff that you normally miss with those units when you uh, put a simple normal hero in them. And this is something really cool. And last but not least, uh, the Branch Wrath is uh, the hero for the uh, Dryads. So you don't have to take Dusha all the time. Overall, what can I say about the Wood Elves army? Uh, well, I love them. I really, really love the new Wood Elves. I can highly uh, recommend the new Wood Elf army to everyone who likes, uh, well, Wood Elves, Elves in general, and an archer army who uh, with hit and run tactics, uh, tactics and. Uh, well, you want to uh, poke the opponent here, poke him here, poke him here, and strike in the middle. That, those are the wood elves nowadays. And uh, with the new units, with the new special rules, the new magic items, new character models, and uh, new special characters, the wood elves are absolutely amazing. And I can uh, give them uh, just a big thumbs up for uh, the new book. Uh, do I think they are overpowered? No, of course not. They are uh, still uh, with the weakness of all the elves. They have the toughness like uh, like uh, paper or tissue paper and 
well, you can quite easily kill them, but, uh, well, when they strike, they strike hard. And this is <clears throat> absolutely uh, the way of the elves, I would say. <laughs> so, I hope you like this uh, review videos from me about the uh, uh, wood elves. I know uh, not everyone is into them. Most of my subscribers are into 40k, but, uh, well, I'm into fantasy too, so deal with it. <laughs> I hope we see us in the next video, and yeah, you're Alexandra. See you!